White Lotus. This is Sifu Willis, and I want to uh, talk a little bit about some of the different things we have here as far as weapons go. One is a spear. Uh, a lot of people typically think of spear as being thrown if you don't have any traditional training. Uh, in Kung Fu, traditionally, you don't throw your spear, you don't throw away your weapon, you keep it. That way it's not a single-use weapon. Uh, with spear, obviously you got about a six-foot staff here with a sharp point on the end. It makes for a very good thrusting weapon, a very good slicing weapon, a lot of circular movement in Kung Fu with a spear where you're down at one end typically. You're going to be doing circles and driving in and thrusting. Um, so if you have never used a spear before, uh, I would suggest picking one up and trying it. You can talk with us if you need traditional training on spear because we have a lot of different spear sets that we can teach you. There are single and double headed spears. This is a single headed spear. Uh, it's a very typical traditional spear because it's rattan or bamboo will, they'll also fight with. But it's great for blocking. You have basically a six foot staff, so it's like fighting with a staff that's very sharp on one end. So not only can you block and strike with both ends, you can hit with either end out here, but you also have the cutting surface on both sides of the spearhead. Both sides are sharp. And so when you're thrusting in or when you're drawing and circling, you have the cutting motion in addition to the blocking, circling, and striking, you have a traditional edge here that will cut and do a lot of extra damage. So you can thrust through somebody, but you can also cut on arteries, cut under the arms, around the arms, around the legs, around the body, around the neck. You don't have to just thrust with a spear. And one of the things that we do for uh, practice exercise is actually switching the spear from side to side with just a short throw here. What's happening is you're bringing the hands together right like that with the hands facing each other, the palms facing each other. You can do this with any long weapon, staff or spear, but it's a good thing to practice. It's easy to switch around then if you need the other side, you wanna strike with either end, it's very easy then to switch it around and throw a stab, a cut, a thrust, a block, anything just by switching it back from one side to the other. And all you're gonna do is swing it on a circle and bring the hands past each other. And it'll allow you to flip the spear from one side to the other. You don't wanna have a death grip on this, you wanna have a good hold of it, but you don't wanna have a death grip so you're all tensed up, always fighting loose and comfortable, fighting low ideally. This is great for dropping in on somebody and letting them spear themselves as they come in on you. So that's a traditional Shaolin spear. It's a great weapon, great fighting weapon. I would fight with one of these. Um, it's a very good defense and offense weapon, and you can do a lot of damage and you can keep your opponent at bay by reaching out there and getting them versus having them come within range of you. So if you have some more questions, feel free to post them on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, of course, too, and uh, visit our website.